Hello, Grade 11s. Welcome to today's lesson on the sine function, where we are going to sketch graphs and determine the equation of a given sketch. Let's start by looking at the formula for a sine function. In the formula, y equals a times sine k into brackets x plus p plus q. a vertically compresses or stretches the graph, and the value of k horizontally compresses or stretches the graph. P shifts the function horizontally. Q shifts the function vertically. Let's begin with our first example. Sketch the function f of x equals 2 sine 2x in the interval negative 360 to positive 360 degrees. There are various methods we can use when plotting a sine function. The easiest way is to first list the main coordinates of the standard function then to make changes to the coordinates. The equation of the function will tell us what changes to make. The main coordinates for a standard sine function are 0, 0, 90 and 1, 180, 0, 270, negative 1, and 360, 0. Now we need to look at the equation so that we can see what to do first. The given equation has a value of 2 for a. This means our amplitude is 2. To change the amplitude of the standard function, we multiply all the y coordinates by 2. Our new coordinates are 0, 0, 90 and 2, 180, 0, 270, negative 2, and 360, 0. Let's go back to the equation to see what we should do next. In the equation, k has a value of 2. Remember, the value of k changes the period, and because this value is 2, the graph is going to appear compressed. Let's find our new period by dividing each x-coordinate by 2. This gives us 0, 0, 45, 2, 90, 0, 135, negative 2, and 180, 0. First we plot the points. Then we join them with a smooth line. And we continue the graph until 360 degrees. Let us try another example. On the same set of axes where f of x has been sketched, sketch g of x is equal to sine in brackets x plus 60 degrees minus 2. Let's start by listing coordinates of the standard graph. We have a value of p and q. Let's start with p. When p is added, the graph shifts to the left. This means we need to subtract 60 from every x coordinate. This gives us negative 60, 0, 30, 1, 120, 0, 210, negative 1, 300, 0. Let's look at the equation of the graph again. The value of q is negative 2. This means that we must subtract 2 from each y coordinate. Our final coordinates are negative 60, negative 2, 30, negative 1, 120, negative 2, 210, negative 3, 300, negative 2. Let's plot these points. Here are the plotted points on the same set of axes as the previous question. The question only wants us to draw a graph between 0 and 360 degrees. Let's do that. Can you see how the graph has shifted to the left and is 2 units lower than the standard sine function? Now let's try this in reverse. Sometimes we are given a graph and have to determine its equation. Determine the equation of f of x. The coordinates 45 degrees 
0 and 135 degrees 2 lie on the graph. Looking at the shape, we can tell that the function is a positive sine graph. So we begin by writing out the equation of our sine graph. y equals a times sine k into brackets x plus p plus q. Now let's examine the graph in more detail. The period of the graph is still 360 degrees and the graph has not moved up or down. It looks like it has been vertically stretched and shifted to the right. This means that we need to find the values of A and P. We can see that the amplitude is 2. This means that A equals 2. The graph has also shifted 45 degrees to the right. So P is equal to negative 45 degrees. We simply substitute these values into the formula and get y equals 2 sine x minus 45 degrees. As you can see, we use the same skills to find the equation of a function as we do to draw the function. Remember to try the task video for practice with these skills. You can also learn more about sine functions on our website www.mindsets.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us Grade 11s. Goodbye.